Thank you, Carlos. Uh, thank you, members of the Swanee River Water Management District Governing Board and the St. John's River Water Management uh, District Board. I am Mike Register, the Director of Water Supply Planning and Resource Assessment at the St. John's River Water Management District. Um, let's go ahead and jump in with what we're talking about, and that's the estimated uh, water use. So if you look at uh, the chart there, it shows what the expected growth both in population and water demand is uh, through the period of 2035. Um, you can see the population goes from about 1.9 million to 2.63 million. And during that time, the uh, estimated demand from 2010 till 2035 goes from 550 million gallons a day uh, to 667 million gallons a day, or an increase of 117 million gallons a day. So, how are we going to meet these challenges? Um, basically, that's one of the main purposes of the water supply plan, is to provide those options that will uh, allow us to have the uh, water supply that we need to meet those demands without causing adverse environmental impacts. To that matter, the, pro the plan identifies 41 uh, to 54 million gallons a day of water conservation. Now, this represents 46% of that 117 uh, million gallon demand, million gallon a day demand that we're estimating is needed by 2035. Uh, 65 million gallons of water resource development projects and 97 million gallons of uh, water supply development projects. Of those 97 uh, million gallon a day projects, the water supply development projects, there are 88 million gallons a day of, of beneficial reuse uh, of reclaimed water in that. Um, so that in itself, if you ignored conservation, can make up 75% of that demand. Together, if you put just those two together, you meet that 117 demand with another 25 million gallons a day uh, left over. This is, shows how we calculated the potential for water <coughs> conservation for both high and low. As you can see, the majority of the um, conservation potential is within uh, agriculture and public supply, which are represented by the green and blue bars, respectively, uh, on these. Um, the agricultural efficiencies were based on the FZ2 model, which was developed by DAX and utilized uh, for water demand uh, pursuant to statute. Here's a brief high-level overview of the water resource development projects uh, that are within the district. We do have John Fitzgerald and Scott Laidlaw from the uh, from St. John's here to help out with any specific questions you may have on any of these projects, and Amy Brown and, of course, Carlos uh, with Swanee River. But as you can see, uh, all together, they provide 65.19 million gallons a day of, uh, of water resource development projects. And we move on to water supply development projects. Um, you can see that with groundwater, stormwater, um, some reuse, and some reclaimed water, they total up to 97.16 uh, million gallons a day. So between all of these projects and conservation, um, you can see that the plan <coughs> provides more than enough options for utilities and others to pick from to meet their water supply demands while still providing adequate uh, resource protection within these areas. The water resource caution area, um, Swanee River, and you can see in the kind of uh, hatched uh, section there, had previously designated part of their district that's within the North Florida planning region as a water resource caution area. Um, with this water supply plan, the St. John's River Water Management District proposes to uh, designate the remainder of our district that is located within the planning region as a water resource caution area. Um, there's a little bit left there to the west within the Swanee District, and they will address that uh, when they complete their um, nearly completed water uh, supply assessment uh, study that's ongoing right now. I wanted to remind everybody, um, uh, Carlos, I think, mentioned this about the SAC committee and those um, 36 meetings, but we also had over 50 meetings with stakeholders, both environmental public supply uh, and did a tremendous outreach on this to get uh, as much 
uh, positive uh, feedback and as much uh, just feedback in general as we could when we were developing this plan along and along. And this all culminated in the SAC's consensus recommendation where they voted 12 to nothing that they support the draft regional water supply plan and recommends that the Swanee River Water Management District and the St. John's River Water Management District governing boards approve the joint North Florida Regional Water Supply Plan. With that, the recommended action that we have uh, before the two boards today is approval of the 2015-2035 Joint North Florida Regional Water Supply Plan. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. Any questions or comments from either board? Okay. 